Uh, today we're going to be setting up our bloggers. Uh, the reason why I'm choosing blogger is because first of all it's free, second of all it's because Google, I trust Google, and third they just came out with this blogger and draft which is uh, very uh, good features to it. It looks a lot better, uh, more web 2.0-ish and a lot of plugin availability. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, just go to I usually Google blogger and draft um, and then you'll find it uh, first hit draft.blogger.com and once you log, go ahead and log in sometimes you get the default country codes but I'll show you how to uh, change that okay so after you log in okay, you'll be brought to your dashboard now uh, first of all in your dashboard you want to choose the blog that you're using for your branding so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna hit settings and also hit view blog um, I want you to see make sure you got the right one I hit view blog and um, open up one version like this and then one version is your settings so you can easily switch back and forth between the two alright so let's go ahead and set up our settings um, first of all under first of all if you're seeing Korean or another language in settings go to let's see formatting and under formatting there's language change that to English or confirm that it's English and hit save at the bottom and then let's go through our uh, style Okay, first of all, we're going to be going to postings. Um, we're going to be adding a few pages. Notice that in the top I have a home, about, resume, contact. So go in here, hit edit pages, leave this page is okay, and then go ahead and hit new page, and then go ahead and just put the title, and you can refer to the directions, but you basically need um, these home about resume contact and maybe a couple others just follow the directions but this is how you do it now you can um, write it straight HTML code since you know how to write HTML right now or you can uh, do both with a text switch editor okay so when you finish you hit publish page okay next let's go to settings and our settings for your title title is what's going to be shown at the top notice it says Mr. Heil so you can put your name like if it's Susan Lee so put Susan Lee and then sometimes I put like uh, my uh, my unique name, so I would put like mouse flip. That way, it's people identify the name with my name. You can do a description, like your mission statement or a description of what this site is going to be used for for your uh, advertising your career. Uh, and make sure all these are yes for add the blog to your listing and yes to search engine and just keep the uh, default. Okay. Um, next, under publishing, make sure you have the right username, and that's your unique name for your branding. Uh, next, for formatting, um, that should all be right. Uh, for time zone, choose the, lo the, si the country that you're in. So if you're in South America, you want to go ahead and change that. And then all the rest is correct. And then you want to go, oh, at show at most. We're going to start out with show one at the page, um, post for the main page and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, for comments, um, you're going to show the comment. Users can comment on that. And so that's just to be a little bit more secured. And then um, keep the defaults on that. Archiving, we don't need to um, do that. But if you want to archive and save your work and export it out. Site feeds, to keep it full. Uh, you can set up feed burner if you are going to get a RSS later on. Email. If you don't like logging into Blogger, you can always um, email your posts. You just put in a secret word and then um, enable it, publish emails immediately, and then you can just send an email to your this address and it'll automatically publish it to your blog. So very efficient and smooth. And these are your authors. So if you want other people to help edit, you can add them. But, uh, and, but for this, it's just you. But this would be really helpful if you have like a school project or something like that. And blog readers, anybody. Uh, if you want to be more closed, only people I choose or only blog authors, you can do that as well if you want to be more secured. But otherwise, I just recommend anybody as long as your content is safe. 
And next, layout. Go into your layout tab. Um, this is the, the uh, plan in terms of a layout. But in order to get this layout, we need to change our template designer. Okay, and this is a really good feature that Blogger and Draft has. Now for templates, um, you can choose any of these four templates. But for now, just choose picture window and then choose the first uh, option with the blue. And I'm just, just do it for now so you'll see how it looks and then go back and change it to the one you want later on. Now, if you're a photographer trying to show like your photo works and stuff, then you would want more of a black theme so your pictures really stand out. But ours is more text-based, it wants to be more friendly, so I would choose light colors and not don't choose dark uh, colors. Uh, for background, you're going to change that to none so it's transparent, and then you can go ahead and select a color theme uh, to the one you want. Okay. And for layout, okay, I want you to use this layout right here. It's the second row, second option. Um, just for now, if you want to change it up, um, ask me and I'll let you know. But the reason why I just want everyone to be uniform is so I can, I know where to find your information when I check it and I can help you a little bit easier. But feel free after you complete the, this whole assignment to go ahead and change it whatever way you want. But I'd like this all to be on the same page just starting out. Uh, for footer layout, choose the one with two uh, columns at the bottom, the second option. And for adjusting the width, uh, put it at 900 for your entire blog and the left sidebar at 240. Okay, so that's going to be your options for that. And in advance, okay. Now, since you know HTML, you can really go to town with some of these uh, features. You can choose your font. Um, I don't recommend choosing impact, it's a little bit too crowded, not professional. You can choose your text color. You can choose like the how big it is, if it's bold. You can change the colors and stuff for links and blog titles and footers. And notice it has gadget color AAA, that's the HTML code for that color. But if you don't know it or you forgot, you can just select your code here. Okay? So Blogger and Draft is a lot of customability that you can add to make it really a rich uh, blog. So when you're finished with your settings, go ahead, apply to blog. Okay, click on that. And then that will take you back to um, your blogger. And it should look something like this now. And so if you go into the, um, my directions where it says the layout, it shows you exactly how and where to um, put each of these gadgets. But basically a gadget, if you click on add a gadget, it has a list of things like pages, okay, if you want to add pages, which we did to the top. And then HTML, if you have some, you can embed code, HTML code, or write your own code and put that in there. There's text and picture and slideshow and feed. So there's a number of things that we're going to be using um, for this. So each of these are little gadgets that we have. And this is the layout that I want you to use. And um, again, I just want it to be in this layout to, for me to be able to know where to find your stuff. But feel free when we're done with this whole assignment to change it to the way you want to. Okay, and of course you can change your fonts and colors, which we did previously. You can edit your HTML whole template. Okay, so if you really feel comfortable, you can try that out. Um, and then, but go with the de uh, template designer. Don't choose pick new template. And then, if you look at your blog, okay. So in order to get these pages on top, I had to add that um, pages gadget to the top here. Okay, for your header, okay, you can go ahead and change your header, okay, you can insert an image or an image um, banner that you can make in Photoshop or another image programming. But, uh, and then notice these little toolbars, you can click on those if you want to edit um, that section. So here I have a text section. And in these text sections I can hit edit HTML and then edit that as well. So that's a brief background on um, some of the things that we're going to be doing with Blogger and Draft. And notice that we have one article here. The reason why we have one article is because we have a lot of content that we want uh, future employers to see and other people um, that's more for Web 2.0 and videos and our Prezi and tweets and things. So if you have a long blog, people won't scroll all the way to the bottom. So you want to keep it at one. But we're going to be able to like click on one link and you're going to be able to see all your blog posts um, that you've written for that. So that's a brief background on your layouts. Okay. Um, and you can also edit your nav bar, your navigation bar. I usually like transparent light so it's not as obvious. And there we go. So, and we're not going to use the 
AdSense right now.